Well, yesterday we learned how to make meatball sliders. You weren't here for this, but you would have uh, liked yeah. it. We made them with Coca-Cola as one of the main ingredients. So today, Ivy Odom of Southern Living is showing us her recipe for Georgia peanut pie using Coca-Cola. Take a look. I am getting started on this Coke and peanuts pie. We are taking the Coca-Cola chocolate icing that everyone knows and loves and putting it on the peanuts pie. That was one and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, dry roasted salted peanuts, brown sugar. When recipes say pulse, it kind of annoys me. I just like to let it go. This should be your go-to crust for anything peanut butter, peanut related ever in your whole life. About two tablespoons of peanut butter. So you wanna let this run until it becomes pea size. Okay, it's looking pea sized. Now I'm going to put in ice cold water. This is very important in pie making. Measure with your tablespoon, but don't get any ice in there. This dough is a little bit wet, so you just heavily flour your surface. Roll it a little in your flour and flatten it into a disc. And then you wanna chill it for about two hours. I actually already have one that is chilled. And now I just have to roll it out and place it in my pie dish. If you put it between two pieces of parchment paper, it helps prevent it from sticking. I'm gonna <laughs> press on our dough. You might have to keep moving your parchment paper. Keep turning your dough. Moment of truth to see how round my pie is. I did pretty good. Use your parchment paper to kind of lift it up and flop it in. Peel it back. Look at that! I'm gonna get some scissors and trim the edges and then we'll crimp the crust so it's beautiful when it comes out of the oven. I love cutting things. Okay, this is how you crimp a pie crust. Take your crab pinchers and your index finger and then you wanna indent it and kind of push it around. It's so easy. Side note completely on this whole Coke and Peanuts thing, let's take a moment and talk about basil. I just had this thought, I would actually take these leftover scraps that I just cut off the side and I'm gonna roll them out and cut them and make little cookies. Y'all, peanut butter treats for basil, she's gonna love it. Look at this pretty pie dough, y'all. While I get my filling together, I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge. The recipe doesn't really call to do that, but just go ahead and do it anyway. You really want your dough to stay as cold as it can be. This is what I like to call Georgia peanut pie, which is basically like pecan pie, but it has peanuts. I'm starting with some brown sugar and melted butter, three eggs. Woo, that's loud. A third cup of evaporated milk. Okay, sticky ingredient trick. Ham. I love sorghum. It's such a Southern ingredient. About half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and some flour to thicken it all up, salt, and half a cup of peanut butter. My love for Coke actually started at a very, very young age, probably younger than should be allowed. My Nana walks around all the time with a jug of Coke in her hand, and when I was two, possibly even younger, if I was ever feeling down or, you know, just wanted some Coke, she would always give it to me. It smells so good. I love to put peanut butter on my waffles and this smell reminds me of that. If you shake your bowl a little bit, it kind of helps incorporate your ingredients and you get a good like arm workout and little dance action going on. There we go. Okay, I got my crust out of the fridge and now I'm going to pour in this ooey gooey peanut butter filling. Yum! And then you wanna top it with your peanuts. Sprinkle, don't pour. Pouring will just get you nowhere. While it's baking, I'm going to work on a Coke chocolate sauce, and it's gonna be divine. I'm cracking open Coke bottle, I think number six of the day, but you know, there are worse things to crack open, like your skull. A third cup of Coke, cocoa powder, because Coke and chocolate, y'all, mm. a whole stick of butter, the good stuff, about half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and powdered sugar. Send prayers up for me being able to get this powdered sugar into this pot 
without making a mess. Once the butter is melted, you'll be able to stir this up and then we can pour it on our peanut pie. Wow. It does look pretty good. It's decadent. Usually we get to try the desserts that are made in this program, I know. but apparently not today. Now my mouth is kind of watering, but you'd have to, anyway, you can make it yourself. Though. Southern Living is owned by the same company that owns WFSB, and that is the Meredith Corporation. We will, of course, have a link to that, and you can try and make that recipe at home and if you want. Next time Ivy's on, maybe she should ship one of the pies up. Yeah, a little taste test. And then we'll have it in the oven. Haynes agrees. That's and taste good, it so yeah. we can actually weigh in. Yeah.